what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to get less input delay in fortnite chapter 3 and this guide actually doesn't involve any programs this is all stuff which you can do basically straight up on your windows pc i got a few very cool tweaks guys which are definitely going to make sure that your game is going to feel super smooth afterwards and if you enjoy the content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help mode so so much and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic Yeah guys, in this first step, I'm just gonna show you overall a quick method how to actually make your game feel so much smoother guys. Trust me, the fooling method I'm going to show you is only gonna get applied in your game user settings and it reduces tiering and makes it easier for your Fortnite literally to sync the picture. There's like my own little description I put on there. And yeah, what I want you guys to do in the first place is go actually here into your Windows search bar and just simply type in percenter 10 percenter and open up the first file. Once we are in here guys, we're gonna click on the local, press F on our keyboard until we find Fortnite game, saved config, Windows client, and there we have our game user settings. And before we actually gonna apply anything guys, please just make sure that the attribute read only is actually unchecked. So guys, and once we are pretty much here in our game user settings, we're just gonna scroll down a little bit until we find our limiting FPS factor, which for me should be right now, I think on unlimited, because yeah, I actually just did a um, benchmark. So therefore, yeah, I put it on unlimited. And you can see guys that um, usually for you, it should say like 144, 240, 360, unlimited, maybe 60 FPS. It literally doesn't matter. But guys, there is a method which I just wanna show you real quick, yeah? I'm just gonna open up my old document here. And we can now see if we are playing on something like 144 Hertz, you should put your FPS actually on 141 cap, three FPS lower than your actual refresh rate. If you're playing on 240 Hertz, put it on 237. Also, if you don't own a G-Sync monitor, this still helps Fortnite actually a lot out, especially here in chapter three with the new Unreal Engine. This makes a huge difference in terms of smoothness. Pretty much what you guys should do is just simply take your refresh rate off your monitor and just simply um, go down by free FPS. If you're playing on a 60 hertz monitor, of course you can still play on 144 um, FPS cap because you should still probably go on a higher FPS on a lower hertz monitor, which I already explained so often here in my videos. But if you're running something a little bit higher, you know, maybe like 120 hertz, put it on 117. If you're playing on 144, put it on 141. If you're playing on 240, put it on 237. And if you're playing on 360 hertz, put it on 357. And it's literally that easy guys, super easy tweak which you can apply here in your game user settings. And after we're done with that, we're just gonna go here actually onto save, then we can close it, you know, and go back here actually into our game user settings, just simply right click onto it, go into properties. And now we're gonna put in here the check and the attribute read only just to make sure that we don't change it by accident. And with that said, we're pretty much done here for the first step. And yeah guys, in this next step, I'm just gonna show you how to delete some data which can actually cause crashes of Fortnite here and actually reduce your FPS. So therefore what you guys wanna do is again, go into your Windows search bar, just simply type in presenter, 10 presenter, open it up. Uh, then we're gonna click onto local, press F on our keyboard until we find Fortnite game, saved, config, and here we can see now crash report client guys, yeah? We can see there are tons of data actually in there. We're just gonna select all of them and actually delete them real quick here. Shouldn't take too long, you know, super fast. And it's that easy, they're already deleted. And then we're gonna go here again onto local, press E on our keyboard until we find Epic Games Launcher. Go in there, go into save, and there we can see web cache underscore 4147. Just simply open it up and delete every single file in here as well, guys. Yeah, web cache, this already tells us that these are temporary files. If there are some which were already running in the background, we're just gonna go here on to do this for all the current items and skip, you know, just to make sure that we can delete every single item which we can delete normally here. And then we also have crashes in there. We're also gonna select those, delete these. And that's pretty much how you do it, guys. Then we're just gonna simply empty our recycling bin. And yeah, with that said, we're pretty much done here as well with this step. And yeah, this is it. <laughs> and yeah, guys, for the next step, I just wanna talk about again about the Windows built in gaming mode, which you can access while pressing the Windows key and I on your keyboard, you know. Then you just simply come here into your Windows settings. Then we're gonna click here onto gaming. And then we can already see the game mode, which says optimize your PC uh, by play turning things on, you know. Um, but guys, I gotta tell, I already did so many benchmarks, especially here also in chapter three. And with Fortnite, this just simply doesn't work properly. Like with the game mode, I get so much FPS less actually. I still have like a guide from chapter two and it's literally still the same thing, yeah? This game mode doesn't help you at all. So please make sure that it's actually here turned to off guys. And once we click here onto graphics, one thing which we can do 100% 
is just simply select here actually Fortnite in this list, you know. If you don't have it here, you're just gonna go into browse, you know, and find it for yourself. Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game Binaries, Windows 64, and there you can see your Fortnite client Windows 64 shipping exe, which you're just gonna simply add here, you know. I'm not gonna do it because it's obviously already in my list. And then we're gonna go here into options and just make sure that it's set to high performance. So your GPU is working at a higher rate, guys, you know, super easy thing. And yeah, with that said, we just like pretty much avoid um, that we're gonna have like a bottleneck or low GPU usage. Just simply add it on here, guys. And yeah, once you're done with that, you can just simply close everything. Just remind yourself, don't utilize the game mode, but you can still utilize the GPU feature where you can put a higher power, but you can still utilize the GPU feature where you pretty much um, put a higher energy level to your GPU. So guys, and for the next step, also super easy thing you can do. Again, press your Windows key, press I, so we get like into the system control panel here, and then we're gonna click on the storage, spaces, drives, and configuration rules, yeah? Just simply apply it here. And this is gonna scan automatically your whole entire PC for temporary files, which is gonna be super important here. Because you're just gonna see guys, yeah? I've been like recording videos now for a few days in a row, you know, we're gonna click onto temporary files. And we can see that I might have 55 gigabytes in my recycling bin. And also some previous Windows installations, which are 14.5 gigabytes and 6.78 gigabytes in downloads. So therefore, we're just gonna apply all of these here, guys. You can see we have DartX cache, everything, delivery optimization files, temporary internet files, just simply all of them here, guys. We don't need them. So we're gonna click here onto remove files, continue, and it's gonna automatically make sure that everything is removed from our PC, which we don't need. And this is like, by the way, like a scanned Windows process. So Windows knows exactly which files it can delete automatically or not, you know, if they needed um, some previous Windows installations. This is like from, I don't know, like a previous Windows update. And if you didn't like it, you know, Windows can still fix it for you. But yeah, if it's fine for you, just simply make sure to remove it here. It's only gonna take like a small amount of time. It shouldn't take like too long. And you can see we freed up here. Wait, how much is that? Like 15 gigs, let's say seven gigs. That's like 22. Then we have like, uh, yeah, 23, 24. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot, around like 25 gigabytes. We probably like freed up here just from like temporary files, which is crazy to think about in the first place, guys. Like this is so much space. And yeah, we're just gonna wait until it's finished here. So therefore guys, we're pretty much already done. You know, I don't need to show you here. So let's continue with the next step. And for this next step, guys, we're just gonna defragment our current disk, which I have right now here on my windows. We're just gonna go into the Windows search bar and just simply type in disk until we find defragment and optimize drives, yeah? Um, we're just simply gonna open it up and then we can see now guys, I have two solid state drives, my main C1 which is the M.2 SSD, two terabyte, and then my second one is like a normal SSD and then also like a normal hard disk, yeah? And you can see here guys, I haven't even utilized the hard disk, so therefore if you have some sort of storage in your PC which you haven't utilized, you don't need to do this for them. But let's just say the two ones which you utilize a lot, you're just simply gonna actually make sure that it's selected and you can see my last optimization was 78 days ago. So therefore that's quite some time and we're just gonna click here on to optimize just to make sure that Windows can literally find all the data on this hard drive. You know, you can pretty much um, imagine it like that. Windows, once you download a game, is just putting those files on the the hard drive you know it doesn't have like a certain system behind it and every single time you want to open up a program like fortnite or you have loading times in fortnite windows has to browse through the whole entire solid state drive uh, as for me here right now or your hard drive um, to find a certain program and if you actually optimize it guys windows is just gonna make like a quick checklist so it knows where the programs are faster which is gonna actually um, give you more fps and actually shorter loading times in fortnite or other games doesn't matter if you're utilizing spotify google chrome whatsoever it's just gonna run over a little bit faster and we're also gonna do it here for my second drive of course those are both ssds so it shouldn't take too long if you're doing this right now here for your hard drive it might take a little bit longer really depending on your pc speed overall and yeah, with that said, we're pretty much done here already. We got it here, um, fully optimized. And with that said, we can just close it and restart our PC. And we're pretty much done here with this step as well. And yeah, guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This would help both so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day. Have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too light. Big four, oh, come get inside. Dami Gucci Lee, come take a dive.